we're now in a period of time that is of the most impactful throughout the entire year. It's called the three weeks. And we remember and we mourn the destruction of the temple, but we're not mourning just a building. We're mourning something much deeper. We're, we're, we're mourning our loss of our potential, our inability to live a fully actualized life individually and nationally. The temple is the representation of us living at the highest level. And the, the core, the source of this takes place way before the temple was built in the desert when the Jews were supposed to go into Israel for the first time. And when they sent in spies and the spies spied out the land, came back and reported that we were going to fail. The Jewish people at the time cried tears of vain and that was the night called Tisha B'Av. This period of time is all surrounded that one night, which then manifested many years later into destruction and destruction and destruction. So in that one story are secrets for how to become bigger and better. If we can overcome the challenges that were manifest then. So the spies come out and they report to everybody that we're going to die. And they say things that are clearly signs of that. There were giants, there were fortified cities, people are dying over there, like we have no shot. And along the way, they, they say a line that if you read it slowly, it doesn't make sense, but then it does. Listen to the line. They say, We were in our eyes like grasshoppers, and so we were in theirs. They report, we were in our eyes like grasshoppers, and so we were in theirs. Wait, they didn't report that they called them grasshoppers. They didn't hear them saying, hey, who are these grasshoppers? They weren't tapping their phones and they were going like, wow, there are some grass. I mean, wait, are those grasshoppers or those Jews? Like they didn't hear them say grasshoppers. What they said was we walked around and felt like a grasshopper. And so we were in their eyes like grasshoppers, but they don't know if they were in their eyes like anything. Why would they say that for? And the answer is because they were giving us an incredible insight in life. This is the first major challenge the Jews have faced since they left Egypt. And they walked in and they were overwhelmed. They were a nation that were slaves 10 minutes ago. They weren't fighters. They didn't have to fight. They walk into a new country with big cities and big people. You know what they're thinking? We can't do this. There's nothing in it that thinks that they can do this. They, they're scared. It was a challenge that was beyond them. And they felt like they were going to fail. They felt, those spies, knew. in our eyes, we felt like grasshoppers. And so since I felt like a grasshopper, I must have been a grasshopper. You see that misconception? Because I felt like a grasshopper, subjectively, I must be a grasshopper. And this is one of the greatest blocks to growth. Each and every one of us has challenge. Each and every one of us has the thing that we have to do, that we can't do, that we should start, that we should stop. The thing in front of us, family, community, work, everyone's got something. And when you stand before a challenge, if you've never done it before, you feel like you can't. But we start to equate, I feel like I can't with I can't. They are two different planets. People that do things in life, they also feel like they can't. But the difference is they say to themselves, whether I can or I can't, I won't know until I do it. You see, we will never know what we can or can't do until we are in the middle of it. The best we can do beforehand is feel like I can or I can't. But the minute we be, make that into a decision of what we can and can't do, we spend a lot of our lives saying, I can't, I would, but I can't, I would, but I can't make an excuses. And that is called tears of vain. That's the core of destruction. It's the core of the lack of greatness. It's not capacity. It's not ability. It's perspective. You know, if you look at the lives of great people, they also feel like they can't. 
they just pushed through anyways. And had the spies pushed through anyways, they would have seen that they could. In life, we never know if we can or we can't until we do it. And if you ever stand in front of a challenge and you feel like you can't, well, welcome to the club. That's how you're supposed to feel. That's what challenge feels like. But we have to remember that how I feel and what I can do are two separate words and worlds. And even if you feel like you can't, you push through. Because you never know you can or you can't until you try. <laughs>